No, that's very helpful. And so you basically took a clean sheet approach for the most part, correct? And you you designed your your processors from the ground up. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. That's exactly. So how long did that take, and what kind of investment was that to to uh, build those? Uh, and and they're they're, yeah. they're called GPUs. What are they called? We call them accelerators, just to keep it simple, right? Because you know people have. Uh, there is three letter acronyms, you know, abound in the industry right now. Uh, people now just like to call it XPUs. Uh, we didn't want to have yet another XPU with another letter attached to it. So we're just calling it accelerators. So it's an intense accelerator. That's what we build. And, you know, uh, your question too, you know, how long did it take? How much money did it take? Much more than what I thought it would, much longer than what I thought it would, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. These, you know, when, when you're building silicon and you're building hardware, it invariably turns out to be more expensive and, you know, it takes more time. But yes, you know, it was well worth the effort and well worth uh, the money spent on it because we took a very foundational first principles approach to inference without the baggage of having to worry about what else this solution has to do, right? Uh, so we didn't go off and build a general purpose AI accelerator. We went and built an inference only AI accelerator. And that allowed us to just make a set of trade-offs that made the solution very, very well suited for inference, right? And so things like, and I'll just touch upon some of them, uh, things like using in-memory compute, which is a very new concept. Uh, you know, it has been around for a while, but never been commercialized in the context of inference. It's very well suited for this platform with chiplets building a platform. You know, we actually introduced new class of numerics, uh, which are very inference friendly into the solution, which we could only do if we are doing inference, right? Uh, we are not doing training. So, you know, there's a whole whole set of things we did, the way we build the software stack with open tools, uh, because we wanted application developers to be able to program the hardware very easily. So just a bunch of decisions here that are very different and unencumbered because mm -hmm. we just approached it from an inference perspective.